All right, we're back here at the Meltdown. We're sitting down with uh, Civic Minded. That was Super Cop, actually coming uh, coming up off the new CD. Um, please go to the go to the website for the show. It's MidwestMusicMeltdown.tv. Obviously, you guys are on the internet, uh, MySpace and Facebook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you tweeters? Uh, I don't know. Do you- I don't, I don't tweet. Think you haven't I mean, you're not yet. I haven't joined the tweeting world yet. I, know, I, I just don't think people care that much to know, like, uh, I know have I an hourly update that of, yeah. uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's hour two, we haven't wrote another song, You know, Sorry. I post some on Facebook maybe once a day, I figure that's enough. Yeah. I mean, maybe once we, once we get actually, uh, you know, into the studio and we start getting uh, closer to, you know, finishing up, we'll put up some updates. Yeah, well, like we that. have some actual news. So yeah. really tough. So you're going back to Warehouse, obviously, for the new CD. Mm-hmm. Well, we haven't decided where we're going to do it. I mean, I know we are going to do it with, with Jim Holman, like we said. But, uh, you know, we're still, like, I'm still writing, um, you know, a lot of lyrics out. And me and Phil are going back and forth. All of us actually are. And, you know, but, yeah, it'll definitely be with uh, Jim. And, you know, we haven't quite decided where we're going to do it. We just want to make the best decision. We know it needs to be out this year. Right. <laughs> yeah, we need that for, you know, just get it done and out. We're ready. Um, obviously, That's Super Cop's going to be on it. How many songs are in the works right now? Well, we usually go in with about you know um, a few extra, more, you know, a couple of extra songs more so than an album normally is, um, and then see if we like them all, cut them. So I don't know. Um, it's kind of kind of depends on how lazy we feel. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. How many songs we have? <laughs> well, I, you know, I always feel extremely lazy, so I can definitely relate with that or else you know when we go broke as well then you know that's oh, that was good that's an album it's a rap yeah you cost press money? it uh yes it costs a little money yeah. a little bit yeah. all right yeah unless somebody wants to sponsor us yeah that would be great oh, where's that where's that mountain dew at yeah, no doubt. <laughs> red bull dude i'm yeah. still trying to get my red bull endorsement pbr Please call me i'm asking for endorsements pbr <laughs> yeah where's the pbr tag <laughs> Can we get his new meme? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, well, obviously that's, uh, you know, everybody's looking forward to that in town. Um, and you mentioned the scene a little bit, talk about kind of, you know, Omaha and, and the Midwest and your feelings on uh, where it's at and where it's headed. Oh, gee, I, you know, I, some I mean, that's a, that. that's a big issue, but... What's that? You want to tackle that one? Anybody? That's not Dave. Dave's <laughs> Should we go? Oh, wow. Just kidding. You're a musician in about 18 so different many. bands. Yeah. <laughs> My bands are getting older though, and I, I see a lot of young kids in bands that, that when I do check them out, I'm like, it's, it reminds me of when we were young, but I, I don't get out enough anymore to, to check out like a lot of the, a lot of the younger bands. I think, I think Omaha has a lot of really, really good bands. Um, I think it, I think people are a little bit too competitive with each other, but I think that, that comes, right, it's gonna it comes with game. youth and, and everything. I think as the older, older, older people like us, we don't really care that much, you know, so. Yeah, I, um, I see I see more of like the venues um, not working together as much as I'd like to see, I guess, if I was gonna throw out like a, you know, a critique of the scene, you know, you'd like to see more venues working together to get shows at various venues as opposed to like, you know, it seems like there's a lot of competition amongst that, so it's, other than that, I think it's, the bands are, you know, always good, I mean, it's Omaha. You go somewhere like Phoenix, for instance, and you know, a town like Phoenix, you think we have 500 bands, and it's you know, it's not like it's not like Omaha. It's got you know less bands, and you know, there's a reason for that. I think people here make uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of proof of you know the good music that gets made, um, not necessarily by us, <laughs> but you know, like Saddle Creek. I mean, they're huge, and. You know, it's been it's been really good for the scene. Obviously, you know, like at, like at Benson and whatnot. So yeah, probably the closest scenes, you know, that I would I would say are, are relate pretty close are you know Minneapolis or Chicago or Dallas yeah. are uh, are uh, pretty big. When you get the little punk scene going on at the hole, yeah, that's nice. which is kind of coming up. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. This you town know. this town needed a place like that where we could. We missed the Cog Factory, where, where younger kids could go. And right. Oh, whoever remembers the Cog Factory <laughs> nowadays? Uh, the that's, I mean, that's old. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're old. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and with us old folks, let's uh, let's go to some some more music. Some old time and good good music. More <laughs> twelve hour. What's this next song called? 
uh, pack your bags. This is Midwest Music Meltdown, guys. These are civic minded. Check it out. Don't let them all be found Let you 